What are you doing? Just studying. Studying what? Um, underwater basket waving. Hmm. And you studied that in 11th grade? I studied that in college. Getting a degree as an underwater basket weaving professional. And I went to this classroom, what I thought was the class. The professor came in and he said, anybody that is not in here for Comp 101, you're in the wrong class. Well, I looked at him and I said, is this not the underwater professional basket weaving class? And the whole class started laughing at me like it was some joke. Well, you know what? I was deeply insulted. I come from a long line of it. It is a good professional. And you know what? I showed him. I got my bachelor's. I got my master's. And now I am a professional underwater basket weaving. And don't let anybody tell me any different. I have them posted on my wall. I'm very proud of them. They are lightly displayed in my office. And if you would like, I'll take you down there and show you. So what do you think about it? Huh? Oh, okay. Have you made any friends at school yet? Yep. Well, let me tell you, my family moved to a town called Boring, Oregon. And it was anything but boring. As a matter of fact, it was the most hip town there is. They had this, you ever seen the movie Flashdance? Uh, no. Well, you know what? Instead of dancing like they do in the movies, we got into shrubbery. And that's where my boyfriend would get these little shrubs and cut them into cute little animal shapes. But my father forbid me to do something like that because after all, I was the daughter of a professional underwater basket weaver. But you know what? Behind his back, I sneaked and I done it anyhow. But you know what? This man in Disney or Disney or whatever, Disney, that's who it was. He found out about it. He came into our town. He hired my boyfriend and guess what? He opened one in Florida, he went to California, and I don't know how many other places. My boyfriend, what was his name? Wait a minute. You know what? His name was Bobby Bonneville. And he was hot, he was cute. And I actually wonder, whatever happened to him and what I could have been if I had stayed with him? You know what? You don't say much. Does the cat have your tongue? Huh? What cat? Well, you know what, that's an expression we use here in the States when people refuse to talk. Is something wrong? Are you homesick? No, no, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sick. Are you bored? What's going on with you? I'm, uh, um... Has this ever happened to one of your host families? That exchange student that seemed to be the perfect match, but they just aren't talking much? Ha! I'm Dirk McClure. You may remember me from such films as The Revenge of John F. Kennedy and such medical assisting films as Nose Jobs, One Schnoz at a Time. Well, we here at Exchange Student Solution Products, makers of such fine solution products as the Octoon Whistle, the whistle designed to get the attention of your exchange student and tame your Nigerian wombat. We're proud to announce our newest Exchange Student Solution product, Verbage Gum, the fruity flavored gum that helps your exchange student engage and talk with your host family. Our research scientists in Papua New Guinea have developed verbiage gum from the durian fruit located in the southernmost tip of Sumatra. Through scientific study, they have discovered that verbiage gum will encourage conversation as well as physical engagement with your exchange student, guaranteed. You may be asking yourself, how does this work? And I'd love to tell you all the scientific type details. But suffice to say, it's a chemical reaction. And this reaction is so strong that no student can resist talking. In fact, we here at ESP are so confident in verbiage gum that we guarantee it. If it doesn't work for you, simply spit it out and mail it back to us for a full refund. After all, our new verbiage gum has proven to be 100% effective on all foreign exchange students tested and also 100% effective in removing common household pests. Now let's see what happens when we give an exchange student a piece of verbiage gum. You know what? I have something for you. It came in the mail today. Hmm. Huh? Eat. But I don't want anything. 
And they say it is really good. Who? The people at ESP. ESP? Yes, you know, just give it a try. You know what? They say it is guaranteed. Guaranteed for what? Try it. You know, I hope you like it, because you know what? It's guaranteed now, so you can't go wrong with it. Wait. I know this taste. It's... It's familiar. It tastes like... Like home! I know! It's durian gum! Where'd you get it? Papua New Guinea? I love this stuff! They sell these things on the streets back home! Oh, this, this stuff is so good! You should try some! It's funny, because back in my country, People don't, some people don't like it, but my family loves it, except my sister. Ah, oh, she hates durian. And you know, some, uh, some, some part of my country, they don't let other people bring the durian in hotels because some people don't like it. And then some people just randomly throw the d durian on other like a cannonball, like boom and stuff. <laughs> oh man, it's just so funny. You know, durian is a funny looking fruit because First, it's like round and then spiky, and it's very hard and spiky and hard. You know, just spiky and round and stuff like that. And then it's color brown. Yeah, that's that's how you know when it's ripe. And then if it's not ripe, it's green. Some people think that it tastes like garbage. Hmm, garbage, garbage. <laughs> Maybe that is where the name comes from, you know, gar garbage verbage. Oh, here, try have some. Okay. Wow, I'm a believer. Thank you, S. So you know about strawberry, huh? Well, my grandfather's a strawberry too. He makes dragons, unicorns, turtles out of bushes. Verbage gum, available now from S. Order your pack of 50 pieces today for only $19.95. Plus, if you order in the next seven minutes, you'll receive an additional pack of 25 pieces for that other student that needs some help. You know the ones we're talking about. Absolutely free! Plus additional shipping, handling, processing. Burbage gum, only from ESP, makers of fine exchange student solution products. ESP, we're here to help you be successful.